Hey guys, so today we are back with another tutorial on how to set up the Wix email platform and just bring that into your MailChimp so that you don't have to download any other apps or pay for anything in Wix and you can just use the forms that are right in there to link to your MailChimp and use that as your email provider. So if you don't know, Wix has its own email provider within its platform and you can send automations through there and transactional emails and design your emails as well but it's not always as robust as other email platforms like mailchimp so you might find that you want to connect those directly in a different way and if you go into the wix app store you'll find that there's a paid app to connect them and you still have to design the form in mailchimp itself and it might be like ugly it might not match you might not know how to do that and if you're grabbing a template like ours, you'll find that the Wix forms are already in there. They're designed for you. And you probably want to know how to use them and connect them to MailChimp to make your life easier. And this is the best method I found. It takes a few steps, which is why I'm making this tutorial. It's nothing you can't handle. It's just going to require a couple of free accounts. We're going to use Zapier. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, and we're going to use our MailChimp account and our Wix account. So I will just jump right into this tutorial. I will show you how it's done on the screen. And if you have any questions about it, of course, just drop them in the comments and I will get back to you. So let's just open up our laptop here and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is open up my Wix site. And I'm just gonna open up our blush and black template just for this video. Now obviously you would open up the site that you're using in Wix. And if you grab one of our templates, like I said, they're going to have these forms built in and we can go ahead and look at that just so i can show you what the forms look like so these are the forms that i'm talking about this would be like setting up a free download and connecting this get subscribers form to your mailchimp so that you don't have to go in and like make some ugly form from mailchimp that's not going to match your website and like recreate forms like that so that's what we're gonna be hooking up today. So now I have gone back to my page. I've left the editor. So the first thing I'm gonna do to set those forms up is to go into automations and just click on that. And then we're not gonna probably have any automations unless you've made something else already, but this is where you're gonna start. And you'll click on new automation and just wait for that to load. And then you're gonna click on Wix forms. So we'll select a trigger for this app. So we're probably going to say visitor submits a form response. So if someone types their email into our freebie box, our free downloads box, they are submitting a form. Then we're going to pick the form that we want. And we probably want a specific form because our contact form is not going to have the same purpose as our freebie download form. So once we get there's form names to load, we'll go ahead and pick our form. So we've got subscribe to get exclusive updates three and send us a message and we'll get back to you shortly. I didn't name these anything specific, but you can see what page they're on. And we know that our free download offer is on our homepage. So we would click on that one and I'm confident that that's the one we're gonna want. We're not gonna want our contact form to put people on our email list for the same list that we would want for that free downloads. So then we'll go ahead and click apply and wait for that to load. Okay, so once that finally loads, it will ask us to choose a follow-up action. And we are gonna to wanna to choose connect to Zapier because we're gonna be creating, it's called a Zap, to kind of connect two different platforms together through this one software so that they can integrate and work together. And maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. I love using it for many things to connect platforms. It can be a real asset and it's free for up to, I don't, I'm not sure how many zaps you get for free. We'll look at that in a second, but you can definitely do a lot with a free version of the software. So enough about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it and we will wait for that to load. And it's gonna kind of give us a little instruction how to connect our third party web apps. We're gonna name our automation and activate it. And then we're going to log into Zapier and create a zap. For the trigger, we're going to select Wix automations and follow the steps within Zapier. So that's what we're going to do now. So what we're going to want to do first is come up and name this automation something besides untitled. 
So we'll just do Wix forms to MailChimp, something that we'll be able to pick out when we're in Zapier so we know that we've got the right automation. So we're just gonna go ahead and activate that within Wix. And then we will move into Zapier and grab our automation and finish up the process. So you're gonna to wanna to go to zapier.com or just Google Zapier to find this website. If you don't have an account, you can make one for free. I just signed in with my, my Gmail so I didn't have to like type anything, it's super easy. Here's a free plan. You get 100 tasks and five zaps. So that's plenty to just connect a few things in your website and definitely plenty to connect your Wix forms to your MailChimp. So that's all we're gonna need. Once we get here, we're gonna wanna pick our apps. So again, we're gonna connect Wix Automations. It's got it right there. And we're gonna connect that with MailChimp. So we'll pick the two that we wanna connect. And then it'll kind of walk us through this process to make it easy. We'll have to select a trigger, which is our automation rule that we just set up in Wix. And when that happens, we're going to wanna add or update a subscriber. So we'd wanna put this person who has typed their email and name into our form on Wix to our MailChimp. So then once we kinda of have that outlined, we'll hit try it and it'll help us build that automation and get it working for us and ask us some more specific questions. So it'll open this up. We will want to pick our Wix account. See, I've got two here because I got two website templates and I'm gonna pick the blush and black template because that was our website that we were just in and we wanna set this up for. Then I'll hit continue. And then it's gonna ask us to choose our automation rule. And it's, remember we named it Wix forms to MailChimp. So we should be able to find it in there. And then we will wanna continue. And we can test our trigger. It's always a good idea to do that just to make sure that it is hooked up and everything is coming through. Okay, so this is just gonna show us like a test name, test address, everything that it would be pulling from Wix when someone fills that form out. Then we would go ahead and hit continue. And now we're getting into the MailChimp setup. So we're gonna go to MailChimp, add an update subscriber. Then we're gonna hit continue. And then if you're not signed into your MailChimp account, Chimp account through Zapier. It's going to ask you to connect to your account right here. If we want to change the account, I could go to manage connected accounts and it'll just have us log in and authorize our MailChimp in Zapier. So we'll want to go to choose an account. I have two connected here. I'm going to use this kind of a MailChimp burner account that I have just for testing things out. So I'm going to pick that one and then I would hit continue. And then if I've got MailChimp connected to my Zapier, I'm going to be able to see all my lists and audiences that I have in MailChimp. I just have this one list, so I would click on that one. Subscriber email, it's a little bit like confusing, but it's going to open up these automation rules in Wix automations when you click on it and you just want to do customer at email. Dot com. So you don't want to put anyone's specific email into it. You just want to choose that customer at email.com. So don't type your email or anyone's specific email in there. You can choose whether you want a double opt-in. You don't. If someone's already in there, you can ask it to overwrite them. If someone's already on your MailChimp contacts list, for instance, and they fill this free download out and they change their information. And you can kind of go through all these different options. Do you want to replace? Do you want to add, etc.? Do you want to put them into a specific group inside your MailChimp, which you might if this is like a freebie and you're going to want to create a different email that goes just to those people. If there's a tags in your MailChimp, like I've got this member press members tag that's in my MailChimp. If I wanted to put them there, I could. And you can just line up anything else and kind of choose the example field so it can match those fields up, if that makes sense. Even if we don't have those fields like in our form on Wix, we're only asking for the email there, so we're not even gonna have all this information, but it's still good to kind of go through 
and look at it. They're called merged fields. So these are specific to my membership that are in there. I don't need to put anything through that. So once I've got everything lined up, I would hit continue and wait a second for this to load. So once that loads, it'll ask us to test the action again. I would go ahead and test it just to make sure everything is good. All these should really be blank because we've only got room in our form for the email and our audience and whether we want a double opt-in and whether we want to update someone, someone's information if they're already in our list. And we don't have to really worry about any of this other stuff. So we can hit test and continue. It'll run that test for us just to make sure that it's connected. And it was sent to MailChimp, our test subscriber. So everything looks good. They are both connected and we're gonna go ahead and turn on that zap. And we'll just wait for that to confirm that it has been turned on. It has, we don't need to share it with anyone. And we can see up here that it's on and functioning. And now I'm gonna go back to our Wix site and show you how it works from that end, from the customer end as well, and how you can use your MailChimp to send out someone's freebie. So now I am on the live site here. This is a free site, so it's got this banner up here. You'd have to pay for a premium plan to get rid of that, but you would be able to use a free plan and still do this and connect your MailChimp and your Wix form. So something to keep in mind. I definitely advise paying for a plan and getting rid of this just so you look professional. But this is just our demo site, so no harm in having that there at all. So we're gonna scroll down to our form here. And then say that I do want to grab this free guide showing how to make money doing what I actually like. So I'm going to go ahead and type an email in here. I'll just use my other like burner email. And if you do, little trick, if you do like your Gmail plus a number at gmail.com, those that helps you create like an infinite amount of test emails. So you don't have to use your real email and like keep deleting it from MailChimp. You can use any version with a plus number to create an infinite number of test emails. So just a little thing, if you didn't know that, now you know. So we'll go ahead and click on I need it now. It tells me I'll get my freebie shortly. So now we're going to pop into our MailChimp. This is just, again, kind of like a burner account that I just use for demonstration here. So we don't have a lot of contacts in here and they're all pretty much just me testing things out. So here's the email that we just entered, Tamara Morrison Graphics Plus 33. It made its way onto our MailChimp list and into our audience. So as you can see, that takes our audience from that Wix platform that we might not want to use that email service right into our MailChimp. So we can go ahead and access all of our campaigns and the features that MailChimp has that Wix is not going to have. Or if we just already have our whole life set up in MailChimp and we don't want to change at all this will be perfect for you. So then you'll be able to go ahead and make your campaigns. If we wanted to send this freebie out again, we would probably want to make a campaign or make an automation. Depends what plan you have. If you have a paid plan, you could create an automation that sends that out to people. And what I like to do if I don't have a paid plan, just a quick tip is make a welcome sequence. So so once you are into your MailChimp, you will be able to go and create a welcome email or create a single welcome email automation is what I would recommend for sending one freebie out to a specific group of contacts within your MailChimp. And I can make another tutorial to show you how to do that and kind of continue where this left off, but I just want to leave you with how to hook up Wix and MailChimp for today. I don't want to add too much and confuse you. But I'll definitely make another tutorial on how to send out, how to put people coming from there into a specific tag that just sends an email out to them and you can do that on the free plan. So I will come back and show you how to do that. That's what I do to send my freebies out to people in MailChimp and it's pretty easy to do. So we'll come back again to look at that. So stay tuned. But this will get you started. This will get you your contacts into MailChimp so you can do with them as you wish and send them something straight from there. All right, guys, hope that was helpful. Like I said, I will go ahead and make another tutorial to show you what to do once you get that contact into your MailChimp 
and how you can send them a freebie with a link to download something, a PDF, a password to like log into a secret website where they can access free content. Just a way to send them a little welcome email just to that group of people who subscribe to that form. So stay tuned for that. But I hope this helped you to connect your MailChimp account to the forms in your Wix account. And you can do that with any form in your Wix account. You would just want to pick it in the drop down. You could do that with your contact form. You can do that with your email general subscriber form that puts them on your list for newsletters and updates. And you can also do that to help them access a freebie or some specific piece of content. And again, you can do this for free in Wix and Zapier and MailChimp, all free accounts, although I recommend upgrading your Wix to get rid of that banner. But other than that, it's a very effective way to do this. No additional Wix plugins or anything needed, no form building needed, nothing additional. So it's a super easy and convenient way to hook those two up. As always, check out the website template that we use in this video. I will leave the link below to check that out. And you can always use the code YouTube10 to get 10% off of anything in the shop, including those website templates. If you were looking to build a Wix site and not have to start from scratch or use their sometimes less than unique or less than attractive templates that it comes with for your business. Let me know if you have any questions in the description box and stay tuned and subscribe for more tutorials like these. We will see you guys later.